Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna to be making 3D printed QR codes on that with no CAD. It's actually super easy. All we're gonna to need to do is use a few different websites, have a slicer for our 3D printer of choice, and then also get this multicolor, uh, have two different rolls of filament of the same material. It's super easy, so let's get into it. Cool, so now it's time to get started on how to make this QR code. First things first, we gotta get a QR code. I personally like to use QR code Tiger, um, because it has a wide variety of different file types and things you can use it for, Wi-Fi passwords, uh, you can use it for ID cards, you can use it just for a simple URL, social media, all kinds of things. On um, this case, we're gonna be using Instagram, we're gonna be linking it to my Volkswagen camera advanced page. So I'm gonna copy that link right here, I'm gonna paste it on in and hit generate QR code. Uh, I do like to use this option right here because it gives me a uh, very good uh, positioning and spots. You could use this option right here, but you can see um, if we generate QR code that it leaves gaps. And while those gaps are fine, it's going to be a harder print for a 3D printer. So I like to go with that option. You could use other shapes and whatnot, depending on the style you want. I do not recommend this one or this one as these are unprintable for sure. Um, so I highly recommend this. You could get away with other, other options like this circle or potentially maybe, maybe those dots or these dots, but that's my option. I highly recommend it. The one thing your QR code generator has to do is to export as SVG. Granted, you can convert these photos and QR code PNGs to SVG, but SVG output is a good native thing. So we're gonna hit download on that. Download it right there. We're gonna now go up to here. We're gonna go to STL or SVG to STL.com. I'm gonna put all of these links in the description. It's gonna be super easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select, hit upload, hit okay, and now hit upload. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give us this prompt, how tall do you want your STL to be? Because it's gonna make all of that an STL. I like to choose two millimeters. Our QR code is starting to be tall. The taller it is, the longer your print time is gonna be. So let's just go with two millimeters. Perfect. Um, now we can hit download. That's gonna download right there. That's gonna give us a height, which is great. And now we're gonna open up our Prusa Slicer. Um, what we're using Prusa Slicer for is going to be creating the STL file to print. Uh, you don't have to print the Prusa Slicer, it's just how we're gonna be assembling this with no CAD at all. So we're first gonna open this up. Um, you can see, whoa, there's our QR code patterns and STL, it works great. What you see though, is this is all, you know, there's floating objects, that's floating, that's floating. If you print it out and you took it off the build plate, it just falls apart, you wouldn't have a QR code anymore. So that's not what we want. What we're gonna do is hit add part, and we're gonna choose box. What we're gonna do with this box is we're going to move it in the center. So we're gonna change our position to zero, zero. We're gonna change the Z to zero, which is gonna make it that. Then we're gonna choose size. We're gonna hit un or we're gonna unlock that. So make sure it's unlocked down there. So you can't see this. Yeah, so position is zero, zero, zero. Um, we don't care about relatives, we don't care about scale factor, but we make sure this check mark that this is unchecked. With it unchecked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the same dimensions as our other piece. So we can click on um, up here, click on that, and it says it's dimension of 120 or 121. I'm gonna make this a nice round of 120 with this checked. I'm gonna hit enter. Should scale that a bit for me. Um, perfect. Now I'm gonna go back to my generic box, uncheck that, 120, 120, and then we get to choose our thickness. Currently, 30 millimeters is way too big. I like to also go with two millimeters for this. Then what we can do, so we got that set up. We can go back to selecting our QR code STL, put the Z position, at two, and look at that. There it is, risen right above that flat platform we created. At this point, if you had um, a desire to, you could go and you could add text, you could add other things because there's plenty of options to do. Uh, you can just load another part in. So if you want to spend some time in CAD designing an outline for your QR code, or if you want to go and make this box um, instead of 120, like 130, and 130, then 
you know, have a little outline around it. So you can put all kinds of stuff in there. You can spend some time in CAD. And then all you have to do is import it as a part, arrange it on top of it, change your Z, how to position it. And what we can do now is you can either slice now for your printer. So that's an option, you know, get your G code pattern. Um, or you can export as STL. And then you can save it as whatever you want. So this would be QR code uh, STL. And boom, you have something you can go 3D print. Um, if you're not familiar with the whole 3D printing process and how to do layer changes, I'm going to show you. So what we can do is we can hit um, add color change G code. I guess I'm going to buy with that again. So you can see this bar. Bamboo Studio has something similar to this bar too. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the layer that has this detail added. So you can see that it's not above anything yet. So this would be the, we would not want to do it in this layer or else this whole entire section is going to have a color change. You're going to go, want to go one layer up. What you can do is on this layer, uh, we can right click and hit add color change G code. And we can choose a new color. Let's just choose black. Okay. And then we can see everything from there up is black. And now, once you print it, your printer will give you a nice user prompt saying, hey, uh, it's paused. You can then go swap your filament out. And once you're ready to resume, you hit OK. Your print then finishes, and you have your multicolor QR code. I highly recommend doing uh, very high contrast colors, or else you might not have it work. You need some issues with reading. I personally do white and black. We could do anything. I also, uh, you must use two of the same material filaments. I would not recommend being like, oh, I want to do a nylon base with PLA. No, do do PLA and PLA, PETG and PETG, or like two of the exact same filaments, just different colors, so they actually can adhere to each other. I also really don't recommend using anything that's harder to print. If you're using like nylon or P, uh, polycarbonate, it's just gonna be really hard to get that layer transition down, especially if you have to have a heat enclosure and all of that. Um, but yeah, now you can. Uh, slice now it's going to add that in you can export g-code send a printer whatever and then you're off to the races you can print it and get going and uh get it printed so yeah that's all it is to it no cad required it's free it's easy the one thing is you might have to create an account for tiger qr code but that's not too bad is it anyways if you guys like this video please uh drop a comment drop a like it's really appreciated uh i'll see you guys in the next one and uh, thanks for watching.